Have you ever like used shaving cream just to play with? Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, I'm Merlina and in today's video, I know my makeup looks a little crazy, that's because I did it really quickly because today we are going to be trying out a cleansing balm as well as a gel cleanser or a cleansing foam and a new sunscreen as well. All these products are from Hamish. Hamish, if you haven't heard of it, is a Korean skincare brand. Their products are also vegan and they reached out to me to see if I was interested in a gifted collab. I said yes, because I really wanted to try their products and here they are. So this is a gifted review and this is also first impressions, first time trying these products. They're still in their boxes. So let's see what we think. We're gonna start with the All Clean Cleansing Balm. So just looking at some of the ingredients, it does look like there's coconut oil in here. And it also looks like there are a lot of kind of essential oils. So there's grapefruit peel oil, eucalyptus oil, tea tree oil. So if you're sensitive or your skin gets easily irritated, just make sure you patch test first or maybe avoid this product altogether. It looks like it does have a flip top, but we're taking it off because I probably need to take this off first. This is cute, it comes with the little scoop. So here's what the container looks like. Very simple, very clean, kind of sleek. It is a little fragrance, nothing too crazy, nothing too strong. I love when cleansing balms are brand new and fresh and they just look so smooth. I never want to use them when they're like this, but we have to give it a try. So let's go ahead, take a little scoopful. The texture does feel like some other cleansing balms I've used. It's almost like coconut oil. Here is what it looks like. Let's see how well it melts. It is melting pretty well. There are some little bits, um, but they seem to be melting pretty nicely. So let's see how well it takes off the makeup. Um, and I try to put on the products that I know are hard to wash off, like this um, lip tint, some eyeshadow that has like a little bit of glitter and a lot of pigment, just to see how well it does at taking it all off. It is a little fragranced, and I'm worried that it's going to irritate my eyes, so I'm not sure if I should have done that, but we're too far in now, so we're just going to go ahead, rub it in a little bit, rinse it off. I can definitely smell like that essential oil fragrance. All right, let's go ahead and rinse this off. I'll be right back. So not bad overall. I think that compared to other cleansing balms I've used, it's nothing that like really stands out. The skin feels nice. It, there are some parts that are like harder to remove. Maybe I need to go in a little deeper. But like these areas here, you can still see a little bit of foundation. You can see that the lip tint hasn't come off all the way. But overall, it did a fairly good job with like the darker pigments, the glitter and all that. Thankfully, we do have their foaming cleanser as well. So we're going to go in and double cleanse as we always do. This is the Matcha Biome Amino Acne cleansing foam. Okay, so this is for acne prone skin, which is good because I do have acne prone skin. All right, so let's give it a try. Let's see what it looks like. We're gonna open it up. One thing I do love is the packaging. Like these boxes are very pretty. Look at that color. It looks like a matcha latte. I guess that's the point. It is matcha biome, but very pretty. I think it'll look really beautiful on my little skincare stand with the rest of my collection. So let's open it up and see what it's like. Oh. It almost looks like a lotion or something, like a moisturizer. I really love the packaging. Let's try it. Oh, let's just see how much. Put a moderate amount in your hand, make a rich and creamy lather. Gently massage over the face and rinse with warm water. It doesn't say to dampen the face or anything. Ooh, it feels really like a moisturizer or something. I was expecting more of a gel, but I guess it doesn't say gel anywhere, so I don't know why I was expecting that. It's very lightly tinted, like very light green, and it's supposed to form... Wow! The texture is really, really interesting. It does feel very foamy. You know those... Oh, there's a fragrance that came out. It smells almost like a Dove soap, like the very classic Dove soaps, but there's another little undertone there that I can't quite place. But I really like the texture, I really like the consistency. Have you ever like used shaving cream just to play with? Let's see if I can get a close up. You guys can see what that looks like. Let's rinse this off. Okay, so we're back. 
the texture was really nice when I was applying it and putting it on and then when I put the water on it really started foaming up. It kind of took a while to get it all off but I guess I'll still have to figure out the amount to use and all that but overall it feels really nice. Um, I love the texture when you're rinsing it off. It feels like very clean and fresh. Obviously when it comes to the acne aspect of it I'd have to use it for an extended period of time and see what kind of results it gives me and I will definitely make another video on that after I use it for a while but for now my skin feels very smooth and almost like not stripped at all it doesn't feel like overly dry but it does feel like it removes some of the excess oils I do have very oily skin and it did so better than some other cleansers that I've tried that lip tint's still there, man. That's 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 a good product right there. Let's move on to the last Hamish product, which is their watery sunscreen. I'm very excited for this because I love sunscreen. I love trying out sunscreen products. And this one is a hyaluronic hydrating sunscreen. It's SPF 50 plus. Excited to see the packaging. Very simple, very cute. It reminds me of what does it remind me of? What is that? font remind you of let me know in the comments because I can't quite place it but let's give it a try we're gonna open it up take off the little foil I really like the small applicator I feel like with a lot of sunscreens it's hard to gauge like how much you're getting sometimes you overdo it and it's really hard I guess you can't really overdo sunscreen but sometimes like I put on too much and it gets really hard to blend and I have to keep rubbing it in which from my understanding breaks down the sunscreen and isn't great so two fingers for the face and neck I like to apply little by little and in parts. That's an interesting smell. It blends really easily. As you can see, no white cast. It lives up to its name, watery sunscreen. It is almost like a serum. Very, very silky and smooth. Blends really nicely, as you can see. It just kind of disappears into the skin. It doesn't smell like sunscreen at all. You know that sunscreen smell? I'm not getting that with this. And it leaves me very glowy. It's like this really nice glow. Yeah, this is very nice. It feels like a very lightweight serum. It did give me like that hydrated glow. So I really, really like this. I'm adding this to my morning routine. And I'm also gonna keep playing around with the cleansers and trying them out for a little while. And again, I'm gonna give you guys an update on what it does for my skin. Overall, I think these are really nice products. Thumbnail. Again, I would have to test them out on an ongoing basis just to tell you a little bit more about the results they give and how they actually work with my skin in the long term, particularly for these. Sunscreen, I think is pretty straightforward. As long as it doesn't break me out or irritate my skin or anything, I think it is fine. Very clean, very fresh. I really like these products, so thank you so much to Hamish for gifting these to me and for giving me the opportunity to try out these amazing products. I'll get back to you guys with more detail on these as I continue to use them, but it's very likely that I will add all three of these products to my daily routine. So that is it for this Hamish first impressions review. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you go, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more of my videos. I do post on here every Monday, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I post every single day. I look forward to seeing you guys next week, and I hope you have a good one.